And then you look at what's happening at the border. It is unthinkable that this is the United States of America and we're allowing that to happen. When we passed the toughest illegal immigration law in the country, we got a lot of pushback on it. But we won. We need to take what we did in South Carolina and go national with it. We need to do a national E-Verify program that requires every business to prove that the people they hire in this country legally. We need to defund sanctuary cities once and for all. No more safe havens in America. We need to put 25,000 Border Patrol and ICE agents on the ground and let them do their job. We need to go back to the Remain in Mexico policy because no one should even step foot on U.S. soil. And instead of catch and release, we need to go to catch and deport. America's acting like it's September 10th. We better remember what September 12th felt like. It just takes one. And what happened last week? Congress goes and decides to take up the border bill. Now, when I look at that bill, the part that was good was that they strengthened asylum laws. We have to do that. Three million illegals came in under Trump's watch because the asylum laws weren't strong enough. We've got to strengthen those. The part that was weak was it didn't go back to the Remain in Mexico policy, which is very important that no one step foot on U.S. soil, and it had a 5,000-person threshold. We can't allow even one to step foot on U.S. soil. But there were two problems with that. One is... If we're going to do a bill, do it right or don't do it, because we all know once Congress does something, they don't go back and revisit it. So let's get it done right. And they shouldn't leave D.C. until it gets done. Amend it, do whatever you have to, get it strong. But Trump went and told them, don't do anything until the general election, because he didn't want Biden to have a win. That's not a win for Biden. That's a win for us. Go back and fix that bill and get it done today. We can't wait one more day. You're putting the national security of every American in danger because you want to wait until an election. That's what continues to happen with him. It's all about him.